This is Timothy Perfit from Two Canoe Software, and I want to give you an overview of what MDS is. So MDS is a macOS app that allows you to prepare resources for deploying Macs. So it's optimized for speed, flexibility, and compatibility. So it allows you to um, boot up a Mac into the recovery partition, kick it off to be completely restored, have an OS installed on it, any packages, um, configuration profiles, or scripts. Um, and it can be fully automated or partially automated, like having the person type in the computer name or something like that um, right before it's kicked off. Or you can have it fully automated where it does everything um, on, its, uh, on its own. It does use the macOS installer, so it's the Apple recommended way of, of installing because then you get all the firmware updates and your software is all up to date. And all this stuff's done right at the beginning, so you touch the machine and then you walk away and then you come back later and it's all configured. The way it, how it works is you once you create the resources, whether it's on a, a USB flash drive or thumb drive or onto a web server, um, you, you have those available, you boot the Mac into the recovery partition, you run the workflow selector, it grabs those, uses those resources locally and sets the Mac up completely. So everything's booted from the recovery partition to set up the Mac. Um, in order to do this, you need to have the resources available. You need to have uh, the macOS installer, if you're going to be installing macOS, any packages of software. Um, if you have any apps that aren't in a package, uh, MDS will automatically package them up for you. Um, if you have any scripts or configuration profiles, you provide those to MTS and it'll collect them up and save them to the correct locations um, on the external drive or on the disk image that's put onto a server somewhere. MDS has the ability to uh, create users when you're running the workflows. And so when the Mac's finished, it'll have the fully configured users. Um, you can provide things like the um, in information about the user as well as uh, is the user an administrator? Um, are they hidden or can they automatically log in as well? You can create as many users as you want, whether it's a help desk user, uh, a, a regular user that's allowed to sign in or uh, ones from a different department. Um, there's a bunch of different options you can set. For example, if you want to join the Wi-Fi what, um, after the uh, setup is complete, setting the computer name is always important. If you want to skip the setup assistant, turn on screen sharing, all those options are available so that when the Mac's deployed, it'll have those turned on and ready to go. Um, you can also use our what's called our MDS Automaton, which is a little device that'll send all the commands to boot the Mac into the recovery partition and then give the commands to be able to kick off the workflow. And so you can have it to where you don't even touch the Mac except for that initial plugging in of the, the USB Automaton. And from that point on, it's uh, completely automated. Um, I'll put these links into the uh, comment section of this video, um, but we have a bunch of different resources to get you up and running. More of these videos as well. This is kind of just an overview, as well as a bunch of different documentation. So make sure you check those out. As well as make sure you check out the Slack channel um, on Mac Admins if you're deploying Macs, as well as the uh, forums, which are very active. So let me show you a demo. I'll open up MDS and um, we'll set up a workflow. I have opened up MDS and I'm ready to create the workflow. So I'll hit plus and I'll call this uh, video workflow. And I'll give a description. So I'll just say it's Mac OS 10, 14, 5, Microsoft Office, uh, Google Chrome, uh, more, and MDM. Um, I do want to install the Mac OS. So I have a folder on my desktop that's called resources. In here, I have the Mac OS installer I've downloaded from the App Store. I've got two, two uh, items to install, Google Chrome, which will be packaged up. It's just an application in Microsoft Office. Then I have some configuration profile, one that's just a root certificate. The other one that is a MDM in, uh, enrollment certificate or enrollment profile. So I'll install that or I'll select that installer. There we go. And I'll erase the, the volume. Uh, for resources, I'll select the package. Um, so it's under packages. Open that up and select the profiles that I'm creating. And there's the two profiles. Um, and then uh, I'll create a user account and I'll call this IT manager and just the IT. And uh, then I'll allow, the, allow them to administer the computer. Um, under options, I'll select to join the Wi-Fi because that's important from the, the get-go um, because you're going to be binding to, or enrolling an MDM. And I will skip the setup assistant and turn on screen sharing. So that's it. So now what I'll do is I already have a USB drive plugged in here um, and it's uh, currently empty and I will select that 
and then I'll click on open and it will uh, copy all the resources to that external drive, including the Mac OS installer and the uh, uh, package up Google Chrome and uh, copy over the package from Microsoft Office and get everything ready to install. Um, so we'll wait that for that to complete. Okay, the workflow is now created and all the resources are saved off to the external drive. One thing I forgot is to have it select to automatically run the workflow. So I'll just choose this workflow and I'll go ahead and save it again. But this time will be very fast because it's just updating that one setting. So that's all done. Now I'll switch over and actually show you how to uh, boot from the recovery partition and uh, completely uh, set up this Mac by running this workflow. Okay, I'm ready to install now. I have a, um, a Mac Mini here that's booted to the, uh, I'm held on the option key and I've got it at the, uh, the selection and I have my MDS automaton. So all I'll do is I'll plug in the thumb drive that I created with MDS and I'll plug in the automaton and you should see it completely automatically set up the Mac. Okay, it's plugged in. After five seconds, it'll um, start into the recovery partition, um, boot up to recovery, and then run the workflow. It's completed now, so let's log in and see if everything got installed as expected. You can see the IT manager user was created, um, and it did not go through the setup assistant, so we know that both those settings worked. Next, we'll verify uh, if Google Chrome got installed as well as Microsoft Office. Oh, there's Google Chrome and Microsoft Office. You can see there's Microsoft Excel and OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint, and Word. Uh, finally, the last thing to check to see if our configuration profiles got installed. So go to Profiles, and you can see that our certificate and uh, Mosul was uh, um, set. It uh, was set. And then we'll just complete it by doing the uh, user approved. Um, MDM. Thanks very much for watching and be sure to check back to uh, the YouTube channel as well as the MDS page on toucanish.com as well as subscribe to this video and so you'll be alerted as well as it um, uh, helps us out a bit. Thanks very much for watching.